soon they cleared it out Many spoke rumors of his posthumous whereabouts We thought this dude will conquer nations Assert observed their mood in somber faces Said not to assume but what's the conversation? This was confusing them This man must be an outsider This is all the news within Jerusalem The topic? Anticipation They strongly made a stop it When they killed the long-awaited prophet Um, stop, let's see The carpenter who hung on carpentry tree Fulfilling prophecy? Eli, Eli, Lama, Shabakani Manicaid, Aramaic, but he had to say it Displaying the Lord's sovereignty Search the scriptures to solve every clue My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? A veiled reference to Psalm 22 Beyond the Pentateuch in the poetic books blatantly This wasn't a fierce plan of defeat Verse 16, he pierced his hands in his feet As many lots with their loathing Joking, they tore his robe and cast lots for his clothing He was carrying their burden Verse 24, the Lord did in the court when he called, he heard him. If you know the facts, it's simple, relax your mental. Don't believe this weekend's past events were accidental. Wait, 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 man. Uh, why are you connecting Jesus with the Old Testament prophet Isaiah? Search the scriptures. Are you saying that Jesus is fulfilling the scriptures? <laughs> You see, they showered him with pain for power in his name. Say what? Please refrain, allow me to explain. See, he caught the hemorrhage to go through each man's hell. When man fell in Genesis, got kicked off the premises, the proto-evangel. Truth first revealed, remember he crushed the enemy who bruised up his heel. He be on a wretched mission, brutalized, looking like a new disguise, beaten way beyond recognition. Abused, confused by his losing, know it pleased the Lord to bruise and excuse my intrusion. Be Isaiah 53. Specifically, the Messiah portrayed vividly God gave victory and how he paid a nickname When he was stricken to death, this guy's despised and not given respect He could be right beside you, but his sight defies you He's eternal, read it in Micah 5 2. Don't you find it odd that his coming announced In Isaiah 9, 6, as wonderful counts The mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace is in the world Brethren, his kingdom never ends in verse 7 Daniel 7, Isaiah said the Messiah heals a lot of diseases. Tell me not of his Jesus, healing quadriplegics. This means he's powerful, just like Jesus. He's speaking powerful, just like Jesus. Within their hearts were burning like a fire. He expounded on the scriptures concerning the Messiah. Yes, you are making sense, sir, but I'm still confused. Let me enlighten you just a little bit more. I, I, I thought the suffering servant was, was Israel. Think about what the prophet is saying. Sir, why don't you come stay with us? We, we want to yeah. hear more, right? Please, please, yes, yes please. Yeah, come more. Stay with us. And okay. we can talk about okay. this okay. a little more. I'll continue yeah. with y'all. As they approached town, the third who was so profound is about to go down. Because the sun's about to go down, their soul sort of dampened. With the third on his way, they urged him to stay and wouldn't take no for an answer. It's been a blessed trip. You yeah. the knowledge of the scripts are impressive. We're hit to the message about Jesus. As they think upon it, this guy's familiar, but I still can't quite put my finger on it. Their minds spinning. As they consider those thoughts, dinner is brought in the third reclines to dine with them. Outside was dead heat before they fed me. It's their table, but the stranger is sitting at the head seat. Still with his face concealed at the table's place, they kneeled and observed as the third's words graced the meal. When he broke bread, they gazed in amazement, destroyed this temple in three days. I raised it. Help, refuge and tower, death you devour with rescue and power When earthquakes scale off the Richter, greatest physical commotions To the mountains and oceans, God won't fail, he's the victor Read scripture, see the picture of faithful devotion We're fixed as your tent, a jack and stop the catastrophic Category 5 cataclysmic event, when Satan would harm You shall be delivered, this rivers of living waters Within your borders, we're safe in your arms None can claim your office against pagan forces You remain a force yeah. Remains on the sparrow when the enemy wants to harm me in battle. I remember the armies of Pharaoh, squad and God. How you call they call this yeah. like some poor reading tarot in the face of evil? Be still, say la. He will show himself to be God with no equal. We never miss the fact you remain the universe sustaining. Never get caught off guard by terrorist attacks and raining. Your God to stop complaining, aiming for trust that won't differ. Before we go back to dust like swiffers. Emmanuel, God's with
with us And if our lives won't survive the times The bottom line, we won't land in hell They can hit us with rods and uproar with war But we're much more secure in your city of God with thoughts, with demonic forces, scheming the torches. If it seems we lost, we can see with our voices and scream with the oysters. God is a fortress. is our fortress. Even with cross, with demonic forces, scheming the torches. If it seems we lost, we can see with our voices and scream with the oysters. God is a fortress. <laughs> Just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sin, yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transgression of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. But first from my birth, yeah. sinner from the beginning, the womb to the tomb, the brain to the grave, astray every day, every breath brings death, and Adam all died, and Adam all died. Everybody knows that they're guilty. Our conscience condemns us, shows us we're filthy. Truth be told, we really have no answers for why we fall short of our own moral standards. The evidence for God is simply bountiful, and it's illogical to think we won't be held accountable. A universal day of judgment approaches. Any rational notion of justice will presuppose this. And deep down inside, everybody knows this. But we disregard it, because our deeds are atrocious. We prefer the vicious. Our words are malicious. Our slurs pernicious. We find the absurd delicious. Depraved in our appetites. The things we crave are lacking light, because sin got us enslaved and shackled tight. And if we ought to understand the fruit, we need to go back and examine the root. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Every day, every breath brings death, and Adam all die, and Adam all die. We're rebels like the devil, scheming like demons, private with our idols, disgusting with our lusting, twisted and sensitive, selfish and helpless, and Adam all die, and Adam all die. The world we live in wasn't always like this. The early days had perfect righteousness and bright bliss. Man and woman under God rule government at first. Bubbling with mirth, immersed in loving with no hurts. God gave with theologians called the covenant of works. Forbidden fruit, the day you eat of it, you'll be cursed. Husband wasn't alert. Wife lacked discernment, entrapped by the serpent, and that was the first sin. First the consequences first sin. were monumental. In fact, I'm not convinced they had a clue of what they gotten into. Their eyes were open more, truth in the lies. To their surprise, they didn't get the prize they were hoping for. They see their nakedness and now regret it. They tried to cover their guilt and then blame shit. How pathetic. And it's a true story. You want some evidence? We've been doing the same thing ever since. Yo. Yeah. They don't think it relates to thugs in North Philly, but it's like Switchfoot said, we were meant to live, but in the garden, Adam was our representative. So when the judge executed the sentence, Adam's guilt was imputed to his descendants. Global calamity, major debt, pain, regret, the reign of death, total depravity. Total depravity. Yes, I'm aware that cats were not there, which opens the door to charges of that's not fair, but God is not subject to fallen notions of fairness. Besides, when it comes to God's glory, most of the left. We can't measure how we chase sand treasures and ban pleasures similar to our ancestors. So instead of saying if you were there, what you would do? Seek your refuge in Adam number two. 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 Returns from my birth, sinning from the beginning, the womb to the tomb, the place to the grave, astray every day, every breath brings death, and Adam all died, and Adam all died, we're rebels like the devil, scheming like demons, crying with our idols, disgusting with our lusting, twisted and sensitive, something and Adam all died, and Adam all died. The problem with the human race is not most deeply that everybody does various kinds of sins behind all of our depravity behind